We now move to lead reply. Cymru, Leanne Wood. Llywydd, I'd like to return to uh, events over the weekend and the aftermath, and in particular to drill down on this question of community cohesion, First Minister. An important point that you made over the weekend, and you've reiterated again here this afternoon, is the need to pull together, to stand together, and not allow ourselves to be divided by terror. And I agree wholeheartedly with what you've said on that. But I'd like to ask what measures you intend to take to help unite Welsh communities to ensure that there is no backlash uh, against the many thousands of Muslims in this country who live here in peace and who find terror as repulsive as the rest of the population. You mentioned earlier the, uh, the community cohesion coordinators that you have. I wonder if you can tell us what kinds of work those coordinators can do to help prevent such a backlash. Well, the first thing that I did was to uh, ask for more information uh, regarding the, any potential threats uh, to the Muslim community. I received that information. Uh, secondly, we do have a, a, a close network that enables us to work with the Muslim community to identify problems early on, whether that's done through the community cohesion coordinators as part of their role, uh, whether it's done through the Faith Communities Forum, or whether it's done informally with officials. So I'm, I'm content with... Uh, the pipeline that we have in order for information to be fed back and forth. But uh, I did feel it was important to uh, satisfy myself uh, that all is being done that could be done uh, in order to protect um, our communities, and particularly, of course, um, uh, law-abiding and peace-loving Muslims who make up the vast majority of that community. Hmm. First Minister, without a doubt, people are going to be um, increasingly fearful of the, the threat posed by ISIS, Daesh, um, and there will be need to uh, work on promoting unity and cohesion within our communities. And of course, the current conflict is linked as well to many other issues, such as the refugees and the pressures on the EU in trying to cope with that particular crisis. Do you agree with me that uh, as we are trying to uh, accommodate those people who are fleeing the horrors of war, that we must at all times ensure that uh, local people are treated fairly and are seen to be treated fairly in terms of access to services and housing, and that we must have a programme of integration that promotes cohesion and fair play to all? And would you agree with me that if we fail on that front, that there's a, a real risk that bad feeling and resentment in communities could grow if public bodies are not seen to be acting in the, the most sensitive way that they possibly can? Yes, from our point of view is that as um, refugees arrive in Wales, the, the funding to support them should come from the UK government, uh, rather than coming from the Welsh government budget, because this is a non-devolved issue. Uh, there is one point that I think is worth emphasising, and that is there will be some, no doubt, uh, who will be concerned that the, amongst those people uh, arriving as refugees will be some people who arrive uh, with ill intent, who are using the refugee crisis as a cloak uh, to hide under as they arrive in Europe. Now, what I can say is that the UN Commission, the High Commission on Refugees, is involved in screening refugees. There is a security process in place, and the vast majority of people, of course, are just fleeing war at the end of the day. So it is important to emphasise that in case people fe are fearful uh, as a result of the flow of refugees into, into Europe. Uh, but it is right to say uh, that where we uh, resettle ultimately very small numbers of people, that extra funding is made available uh, so that they can be resettled as quickly as possible, so their needs can be met, yes, but also, of course, so their skills can be utilised, because so many of the people who are refugees are, quite, are highly skilled, uh, and to be able to utilise their skills in our economy will be important. For that answer, First Minister, I think that there's no doubt that there are some people who will try to make political capital out of this situation, and you're right to say um, what you've just said. I think it's right to say that at times like this we can all feel pretty helpless. However, I think there is something practical that we can do uh, from Wales. Would you agree that as representatives and leaders of political parties we have a crucial role to play in promoting unity in our communities and that we should take every opportunity to stand against uh, allowing people to turn against each other as citizens of Wales, as uh, united we stand, divided we call, fall? Now, Muslims in Wales are an integral part of our society. That's already been established this afternoon. 
Therefore, would you be prepared to initiate some sort of statement to be signed by all party leaders in this place, which aims to show unity, not division, between all communities in Wales, so that we can demonstrate that we are indeed one Wales? Yeah, well, building on the statement that I've given this afternoon, um, what's been suggested would build upon that statement. I think it's important. Sometimes um, people question me, as I, indeed they will, all members of this chamber, about immigration. And I say to them, uh, well, I ask them, what percentage of the population of Wales is descended from immigrants? The answer, of course, is 100%. Because all of us are. All our families came from somewhere at some point. Where do you draw the line? And that does get people thinking. Others dismiss it, as we know, uh, uh, with, with these things. But yes, I think it's important over the coming days for us all to consider as party leaders how we continue to ensure cohesion uh, amongst our communities and particularly to ensure that the terrorists do not get their wish, namely to divide people.